ladies and gentlemen, from the studios in Mooresville, North Carolina, it's another exciting edition of The Binge Buster Show. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of The Binge Buster Show. I hope everyone had an exciting 4th of July celebration. I know I did. I enjoyed being off of work. Um, I didn't do any wrestling. I just spent time with the family, enjoyed my time with barbecues and fireworks and uh, just had a wonderful vacation. Uh, now we're back at it to the podcast. Um, another exciting week, another exciting month and uh, doing a little special podcast this th- today. Um, going to be having some a uh, couple, couple of guests on and we're going to be promoting the Rick Link Super Show. Um, that is going to be held Sunday, July 14th, bell time 2 p.m. at the Lexington National Guard Armory. And this, fans, is a benefit show uh, helping to raise money for uh, the great wrestler Rick Link um, as he's battling can- cancer. Uh, so our thoughts and prayers are definitely with, uh, with, with, with Mr. Link. Uh, I know he's been in this wrestling business a long time, and there are a lot, a lot of uh, professional wrestlers and uh, family members that are getting together and putting together this awesome show. Um, and so today I'm going to have a couple guests on here uh, letting everyone know about this great show. And without further ado, uh, we're going to go to a commercial break. When we come back, we will have our first guest. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rick Link Super Show, Sunday, July 14th, bell time 2 p.m. at the Lexington National Guard Armory. Scheduled to appear, Buddy Flowers, the Gymnasties, Fallout, Viva La Amish, the Ugly Ducklings, A.J. McIntyre, Dusty Joe Slater, Danny Vegas, Ooga Booga, Jimmy Parker, the Scrapyard Dog, and fans, a special tag team attraction, the Storm Legacy versus the Terminators and Jack Spade. All this and much more at Sunday, July 14th, 2 p.m. bell time. Ladies the National Guard Armory, the Rick Link Super Show. Be there. All right, fans, welcome to a new edition of the Bench Buster Show. And I'm here right now with a couple of guests uh, that's going to be appearing on the Rick Link Super Show. I've got Tim Parks and AJ McIntyre. How you guys doing this evening? You following about yourself? Doing great. Doing all right. Sir. Doing good. Well, uh, tell us tell us about this this show that uh, that uh, you guys have put together for the great Rick Link. Well, I've known Rick for over thirty years, and he's been a legend in this business for over forty years. And now he's going through some medical difficulties, fighting cancer and total liver. Uh, I mean, kidney shut down, and we're just trying to get the show together to raise some money to help him out a little bit. He's got some astronomical medical bills he's fighting with, and we're just trying to be a help to him. Well, I, I think that's wonderful, and you know, that's that's one of the things about being in pro wrestling. Um, you know, especially us old school guys, we're you know, it's all about family. Uh, you know, we all, we treat you like family, um, and whenever a wrestler's down like this, I think it's great seeing. Uh, so many people come together to help out. That's what it's all about. You know, my 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 uh, my feelings about it is uh, it's family and it's respect. This is a brotherhood, and uh, Rick Link, whether we liked each other or, or hated each other over the years, uh, he's a brother. Uh, we've all got that in common. We we, we all want to entertain people uh, in the ring and to speaking. Uh, of my experience with uh, Mr. Link, uh, he's actually forgot more about the business than most of the guys will ever learn. Oh, I, so I, I can attest I've, to that. I, I've got a lot of respect for him, and that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah, and, he, and, uh, I'm sorry. And one of the things that, that I noticed about this this show uh, that's really got my attention is uh, you got wrestlers from all walks of life there. You you got the old you know the old school guys, and you got the the new guys coming up, and the guys that's kind of, that hadn't really been in the ring in a long time, but but were ter- but but were tremendous hands in the ring. Um, so that that right there just kind of shows you how how many lives uh, that Mister Link has touched over the years. Yes, he has. He's touched a lot of lives. A lot of these young guys that are on the show may not have worked him. Some of them have, but. A lot of them have shared a locker room with him over the years. 
and he's always willing to help out anybody in any way he can. And that's what we're trying to do is repay that back to him. Yeah, and like I said, I think that that's tremendous. Well, um, what 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 are like some of the matches on this show that uh that uh, you guys are looking more, like like forward to seeing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but I'm taking on Dusty J. Slater, so I'm definitely looking forward to that one because uh, uh, he he's got a surprise. <laughs> well, we've got the cruiserweight titles being defended. Uh, we've got the. Carolina's title being defended in a four-way match. We've also got the uh, tag team titles up for grabs and the heavyweight titles on line. Uh, we've also got a six-man street fight, which is something I've never witnessed. And uh, it's going to be a lot of surprises. A lot of people going to show up that's not on the card that are well-known. And uh, we're also having a raffle drawing for a lot of wrestling memorabilia that's been donated by a lot of legends. I've got stuff coming from Jimmy Valiant, uh, Jackie Fulton, his brother. I mean, Bobby Fulton and Jackie Fulton, his brother. I've got stuff from Dirty Rose out of Tennessee. I've got a box load of stuff being shipped uh, now to from Florida that was donated by uh, some legends down there. And uh, also got merchandise that's been donated by local businesses and gift certificates and stuff of that nature. So it's, it's going to be a, be a good thing. Well, I, I think that's wonderful hearing, hearing that so many people have donated their time and, and their merchandise, uh, to, you know, for, for this great, uh, for this great event. Um, now you were talking about some of the matches. Um, now the, the street fight you're talking about, is that the match between the storm legacy and the terminators and Jack Spade? Yes, it is. You know, the last the time, the, yeah, the last time I was on the show, uh huh. I was gonna say the last time I was on the show with those guys, a, a riot broke out. Exactly. That's <laughs> gonna be a wild. Tough. That's gonna be a wild one. Uh, Terminators are actually coming out of retirement to be on this show. I, that's what I heard, and I, I think that that's that's really amazing. Uh, I've known those guys for a long time, and uh, you know uh, when I broke into the business, uh, they were. Uh, kind of helping Ken Spence do a little training, and I remember that night I was out there, and I was like, "Geez, man, these guys are tough." Oh yeah, yeah, that's going to be an old school like they are said, slobber knocker. <laughs> now, uh, now AJ, you were talking about your match with Dusty with with D- D- Dusty Joe Slater. Um, what what kind of surprises uh, can we can we be looking forward to for that match? Well, now, if I gave away all the surprises, there wouldn't be a surprise, would there? Well, now, this is true. This is true. <laughs> I like that. It's going to be interesting. So, you know, yeah, it's it's going to be, you know, a lot of people don't realize that me and Dusty Joe's had uh, had history. Um, the last time I was in the ring with him was about nine years ago. And uh, things, things went kind of crazy then. So I don't really think they're going to, uh, I don't think things are going to change that much. So, again. You know, I think things are going to. Yeah, so we got history. So, so kind of like the Storm Legacy and the Terminators, um, you guys also have a, a little feud that's been going on. So, so it's kind of like rekindling that, those old flames again, huh? Uh, that would be a pretty correct uh, analysis. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Well, it sounds like this show is going to be just amazing. Um, now, uh, how much are tickets going to be at the door for this show? It's going to be ten dollars. Uh, ten dollars a head. Uh, children 10 and under, and we can the people that buy tickets can bring in one child for a paid adult. Okay, that's, uh, that's nice. They've got, they've got a seating limit on the building, mm-hmm. so we can't just let four or five kids in with one adult. Right, right. That, that makes totally right. sense. The whole, the whole purpose of this is to raise money for Rick, and if we did that, we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't be helping out that much. Right. Now, I, I, one of the things that I've, I've noticed, um, now, is it? I may be wrong because uh, you know I'm I'm actually from that area. I'm originally from Thomasville, but um, now I live down in Charlotte. But um, but it seems like it's been several years since a, a wrestling event has been held in the uh, Lexington Armory. Is that is that correct? Well, somebody run one there about a year or so ago. I don't think they draw very much of a crowd. They've never come back. Mm-hmm. But as far as this organization, the last time we ran one there was about five years ago. Okay. I know, um, I know one one of my good friends, um, Matt Houston. Um, he used to run shows out of that armory 
uh, probably about eight years ago, and he always drew really well. As a matter of fact, um, in that same building, I got uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, Snake Damien put on me during that uh, in that building. So that, that building has a lot of uh, it has a lot of uh, history. But uh, with, without a doubt, I believe this Rick Link show is going to be um, a, a really really big show there uh, in that in that building. Yeah. We've actually got people coming from out of state that are coming just to see the show. Uh, I don't know if you remember Big Slam. Yeah, Big Slam, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, Big Slam is living in New Jersey. He oh. is coming down. He's coming down to set up a gimmick table and sell autographed pictures and stuff, and he's going to donate the money to Rick. Oh, that, that, that's and awesome. there are a couple of other people coming in and going to do the same thing. Now is is Rick going to be at the show as well, or 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 is he? Oh yeah. Oh good, good. Yeah, he's good. going to be there. Oh that that's awesome. I know all the guys yeah, are going to be excited. He's not in best shape right now, but he said he would be there. Oh that's that's great. That's wonderful. I remember one of my first shows I ever worked on. Um, Rick was there, and uh, um, I can't remember who he worked, but I know he was in the main event, um, uh, defending his brass knuckles title. And if I may be wrong, but isn't he the longest reigning brass knuckles champion here in the uh, here in North Carolina? Yes, he is. Uh, he actually won that belt in New Zealand. I can't remember the exact year. It was in the early eighties. He came back to the new, uh, to the state, and they weren't wanting to pay him and let him defend his title here in the state. And so, the title he's got was his pay. Oh, nice! He still got that. He still got that belt. That, that that's great. I I know. I, re, I remember seeing you know when I started out in wrestling, watching old videos and learning and uh, hanging out with Jimmy Valle, and uh, I remember seeing a match on there. Look, I believe that believe the match took place. Uh, in Memphis, uh, and uh, on that match, Jimmy Valiant was wrestling Rick Link, and uh, Rick, Rick, Rick was very young in this match, and I was like, uh, you know, I, I was used to seeing Rick, you know, uh, big guy with the bald head, the painted face, and then here, here's this kind of young guy with kind of long hair, and I'm like, that's Rick Link? Wow, you know? So at that point, I knew he'd been in this business a long time when I saw that, you know? Yeah, he actually started when he was 16 years old. And, and see... He, uh... He was involved in that big angle with Jerry Lawler in uh, Memphis with Andy Kaufman. Right. He's the only man. He's the only man that ever won the Southern Heavyweight Title from Jerry Lawler in Memphis. Oh wow, that's great. I know uh, he he also had a, lo- a lot of brawls with Abdul the Butcher, the Iron Sheik, Buddy Landell, Wahoo McDaniel's um, through, oh, during yeah. his tenure as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, him and Abdullah had some real, real battles. He did with Wahoo and, like he said, Buddy Landale and a lot of others. I mean, you can just by the name of who's who of who he's been in the ring with. I mean, he's been in the ring with Bruiser Brody, uh, Rick Blair, uh, Harley Race. I mean, Ox Baker, the list goes on and on. Yeah. Um, I know, Rick, like, like you say, Rick, Rick is a tremendous guy, um, big heart. Um, I know a good friend of mine, Chris Plano, who used to uh, promote New Dimension Wrestling, and, um, and he was telling me on, on one of my podcasts that uh, a lot of people didn't know this, but Rick Link was pretty much his right-hand man. He, he was the guy that um, he kind of ran the locker room for Chris and made sure everybody was doing business the way they should do business, and uh, uh, you know, a lot, but a lot of people didn't know that. you know. Yeah, he, uh, he booked for Chris Plano for years, and... Uh, he was the one that got me a spot with Chris Plano. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, he booked for, uh, he booked Plano for several years when New Dimension. Yeah. And he also booked for several other guys as well. No, I think the fact is, you know, Rick has been in the ring with pretty much a who's who of who's been in wrestling. When you used to about name someone that's a legend in wrestling, Rick, Rick Link was there. Yeah, yeah. And 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 there there's not many people like that that, that that's left around wrestling anymore these days that have uh, wrestled people f- you know for the last f- three or four decades like 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 he has I mean probably like right now the ones that are still uh, going strong that that you that you could say has done that would be like Ricky Morton uh, George South you know guys like that but there you know other than that there's not many 
of the old, old school guys left that, that that can say, hey, I've I've been in the ring with this guy and this guy and this guy because, um, they're, they're you know they they pretty much all have, have retired. Yeah, Billy, he's another one that's still out there uh, that's been around for years, but I don't think Bill's working anymore either. Yeah, the mass super. Right, yeah, Master. Yeah, I, I, right. I, I, I think he's doing just mostly autographs, autograph things now. I haven't seen right. him in a while right. either. So yeah, you're right. Um, you know, our, but, our uh, old school guys are are gone. Um, but uh, I, do, I do know, uh, I do know that C. W. Anderson is going to make an appearance at this show, and oh. so is uh, Q. Ball Carmichael. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're they're going to come up and make an appearance for us. Now you uh, on this show, you, you guys also have have some lady matches as well, correct? Yeah, we've got Sadie Lee Moss taking on Lindsay Pike. Uh, it's going to be a three way with Natalina Corvino, and uh, we've also got uh, Brandy Wine. Brandy Wine is coming in to do an appearance and to sign oh, nice. autographs and sell pictures. Uh, she said she was going to do the same thing. Uh, Big Slam is she's going to sell pictures and autographs and all and then turn around and give the money to Rick. Wow. That's, uh, that's, I've, that's also, I've also got some stuff uh, for the raffle from Jimmy Lagan as well. Oh, good. Yeah. That, that, that's another guy that has a big heart. And I've, you know, I've, I've talked about him a lot on my podcast, but uh, he and I are real tight and, uh, man, yeah, he's, if, he's the one I've trained with. If, uh, if there's anybody out there that, that you can learn from, not just wrestling, but in life, um, great great um advice jimmy Vay is the one i mean he i've said it before on my podcast he told me one time i I was talking about my divorce i was going through and he said brother don't worry he said uh you think you're losing everything now but once you rebuild you'll have 10 times more than what you got or what what you think you're losing and he was i mean he was right on the money he was right about it i I, you know it blew me away (laughs) he's such a He's a, yeah, such a great he, guy, and you never see him get upset. <laughs> At least I've never had. He told me he told me some stories about what he went through when he had his divorce, and I'm gonna tell you, a, a, a woman can be spiteful. Oh put yeah, it that way. yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And, you know, the old saying goes, "Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned," and that is the exactly. honest to God's truth. Exactly. So now, now AJ, have uh, have you ever been in the ring with uh, with Rick before? Oh uh, yes, twice. Twice, and, and how how'd that go? Um, <laughs> it's great, right? <laughs> well, I lost uh, because he still got his belt. But uh, right, <laughs> um, he's he's extremely tough. Um, a lot, to, and, and I'll I'll admit, the first time I got in the ring with him, I, I underestimated him, and boy, was that a mistake. Uh, <laughs> Rick is a a, com, a a professional in every every sense, and when I first got in the ring with him, I really, I probably didn't show him the proper respect uh, as a, as a wrestler, and uh, I learned right quick what respect was. Right. So so I'll give him that. You know, I have nothing but respect for him. Like I said, regardless, like hate, whatever. Um, I've got nothing but respect for the man and the the sacrifices that he's made for the business to entertain people. And to, to actually teach some of this younger talent what it is to be a wrestler and, and what it is to be a professional. See, anybody can be a wrestler, but it's different to be a professional wrestler. You're a professional. You act as a professional. You conduct yourself as a professional. A lot of guys today don't get that. No, no. I, I'm, I'm with you on that. Like like now, I, I still work on some of these shows, and, and you know, I look in the locker room, and I'm like, man, the locker room has changed so much since my day when I broke into the business. Because when I – when I was in the business, um, it was a yes sir, no sir, and you kept your mouth shut, and and you listened and you learned. But a lot of these new guys now, they uh, think they know more than everybody, unfortunately. Yeah, they get a bigger pop in the dressing room than they do out in the audience. Right. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, I, uh, one of my podcasts, I was talking about this a couple weeks ago. It's, it seems like um, some of the younger guys now, not all of them, I'm not, and I'm not shooting on the young guys. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, as far as a lot of them feel like um, it, the, the the things they do in the ring don't matter. It's it's what what they can get over and get on their Facebook page and get on their YouTube channel uh, and pop their girlfriend or their best friend. Um, but it ain't about doing the right thing in the in the you know in the ring, which is um, unfortunately right. um, a lost art. Yeah. 
you were talking to AJ about being in the ring with Rick. I've been in the ring with him three times myself, twice in tag teams and once in a singles. And the thing that a lot of the old guys used to say is true. Uh, you can be best friends outside the ring, but when you get inside the ring, that friendship doesn't mean nothing. Right. That's uh, correct. I was in one tag with him and Manny Fernandez, and that was a straight-up fight for my life. And uh, then another match with him and Dirty White Boy, and then the singles match. I went home every time and had to have help getting out of the bathtub because once I sat down, I couldn't get up. Right, yeah. When uh, when I first started in the business, Tony, um, I had went to, I think it was Gastonia, to watch this show and uh i don't know if i should say the name of the person that rick was in the ring with but it was somebody whose last name uh is pretty prominent with wrestling today and he was actually one of jimmy Viant's students mm -hmm. uh, at the time like i said this has been years ago and uh apparently that kid did something that didn't uh, rub uh, rick the right way and he wore a handprint for a week oh wow I don't doubt that one bit. I mean, you can see right there on his chest, it was like spread fingers. I mean, it looked like somebody had painted a red hand on his chest. <laughs> and it, probably, it stayed there for a while. And, and it was one of those things, it was one of those things where I would say, oh my God, I'm glad that's not me. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you know, yeah, Rick, it, would, uh, Rick would teach you respect in the ring real quick if you didn't have it already. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and again, that is another thing that's a lost art because, like, nowadays, uh, you know, unfortunately, bad thing, uh, you know, things happen in the ring now uh, that, that wouldn't happen, you know, 15, 20 years ago because uh, the guys would, would get cut off real quick. Now, uh, a lot of these guys don't know um, how to, um, when, 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 when they get in a jam, they uh, don't know how to get out of it. They just, they, they, they lose, they, they lose it, you know. Um, whereas uh, Rick, would always make sure that um, that the things were done the right way, and they were done his way. Right. Yeah. yeah the guys guys right way. So that of, was. Sorry. A lot of guys don't know how to improvise nowadays. Right. Yeah. They miss one spot, and then the rest of the match is blow for them. Yeah. Now, uh, lo looking at at some of the young talent that you got on this show. Um, I I I see a lot of this uh, a lot of these wrestlers on Facebook and and at different shows, and I can tell you um, a couple of teams I see on here the new teams coming up that I see are really making waves um, is the Ugly Ducklings, uh, the Gymnasties, and uh, Viva La Amish. Right. Uh, the Ugly Ducklings I've known them for years. The Gymnasties, I've met them a few times, but they are excellent talent. And the Viva La Amish, I had never heard of them until I was recommended to book them for this show. Uh, but from what I have seen of them, they are decent work. And uh, I'm hoping that they show up and show up. Oh, yeah. And, um, and I'll, go ahead and, I'll go ahead and say this. Uh, you know, other means they uploaded their promos to the, to the Rick Link uh, benefit page. And the one that I found that actually the, the most entertaining was the Viva La, La Amish class. Uh, it it was it was hilarious, and it was entertaining because I mean obviously you know obviously in wrestling that's our job to entertain people, and, and that entertained me. I, I'll admit it. Oh um, yeah. If you haven't seen it, you should. I mean you'll. Oh yeah, I've sit saw down it. tight because you'll probably fall out of your chair laughing. Oh, oh, I saw it a couple weeks ago, um, and uh, I was like, man, that, these, these guys have real because you, again. You, you know that what 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 they remind me of is a is is like a younger version of the old school guys because wherever they go whatever promotion they work for they are doing their best to get over there um and and i'm like you those promos are really getting over um that gimmick they have is getting over i mean they for god's sakes they, they bring a chicken to the ring um who does that you know not i i, I can't think of any independent wrestler right now that has a gimmick um, like that, um, and it's something different. It's something new. Um, so I, I, I think those, those guys are gonna are gonna go a long ways. Um, and 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 the fact that that they're young, um, but 
they listen and they uh, do do what they're told to do. Um, and I, I, I think that uh, they're 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 going to do really well in this show as well. I believe they will too. I mean, I've been impressed with what I've seen out of them so far. Now you you're talking about a cruiserweight match. What what's 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 going to be the uh, the uh, guys in the cruiserweight division? Uh, Jason Michaels and uh, he goes by Maverick. Okay. And uh, he's going up against uh, Buddy Flowers. Okay. Yeah. He does, uh, Buddy Flowers does kind of like a stoner gimmick, but uh, I think they'll have a real exciting match. Both of them are good workers, and I expect it to be solid. Yep, yeah, yeah, that, that that should be a good one. Um, now, as far as the the gymnasties, um, what what what, what uh, who are they wrestling on this show? The gymnasty boys are fighting uh, high profile. Okay. And uh, then uh, Ball Out is supposed to go against the Ugly Ducklings, and that's for the tag titles. Uh, Jimmy Parker is defending his heavyweight title, but I don't know exactly who's going to be taking that challenge yet. It's kind of an open thing right now, but the heavyweight title will be defended. Okay, that, that, that's great. Um, so you definitely got 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 some big matches now. Now, AJ, your, your match is it just a special challenge match, like a grudge match? Is that pretty much what it is? Well, a grudge match would be probably, I guess, uh, would be the appropriate term. Yeah. Yeah, grudge match, definitely. Uh, you know, we we kind of have a grudge with each other. Now, don't get me wrong; I still have total respect for Dusty Joe Slater, mm-hmm. and he has respect for me. Um, but uh, there's always been that thing between us of uh, which one of us is better. And and I'll be honest; he's beat me before, and I've beat him before. And it's kind of went back and forth, and then it just kind of went away for a while. Here comes the Rick Link show, and okay, it's time to revive this. Well, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that match. I'm I'm going to do my best to make it make it to this show. Um, I know I'm booked the night before in another town, so um, but I'm, I am going to do my best to, to to make an appearance there and come check it out and see um, see some of the guys I haven't seen in years and hopefully see uh, see us raise a lot of money for for Mr. Link on this show. Yeah, I'm hoping we can hang him a bundle at the end of the night. It could really be a nice thing if we did. And that's what we're all there for is to try to help him out and do what we can for him. Yeah. Now, I've got down here, the bell time is, is 2 p.m., correct? Uh, the bell time is 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I looked on one Doors of the Doors open pages. at 2. Doors open at 2. Bell time's 3. Okay, perfect. Well, uh, we're hoping to have the doors open at 2, but we've got to start set up at 12, so it may be 2.30 before the doors actually open, but yeah. bell time's supposed to be 3 o'clock or shortly thereafter. Okay, sounds good. Well, guys, I really appreciate you coming on my show today. I'm definitely looking forward to this uh, to this Rick Link uh, Super Show. Um, it's going to be Sunday, July 14th, bell time 3 p.m. Lexington National Guard Armory. Tickets are ten dollars um, and one child free with each paying adult, um, and all proceeds are going to help Rick Link uh, for his battle with cancer. That's right. Well, guys, thanks well, again. Thank you for having us. Yeah, th- thank you for coming on, and I appreciate your time, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on Sunday. All right, brother. We appreciate you helping us push the show. No problem we at all. It a lot. I-, I hope it helps out a lot, and uh, like I said, I hope you guys draw really well, and-, and we can raise a lot of money for Mr. Link. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for another edition of the Ben Special Show. Please make sure you tune in each and every week and download each podcast. Thanks for your support.